Newfoundland. A majestic island known for its rugged beauty. A land of ancient mountain ranges. Lush boreal forests and bountiful wildlife. Newfoundland is also home to one of the most prolific Atlantic salmon rivers in the world. The mighty Humber. Over 30,000 salmon ascend this river every year. For fly fishers, this river is Nirvana. One of the best places to fish the Humber River is known as Big Falls. The falls are an inspiring and magical place. Here you can watch Atlantic salmon bravely attempt the powerful waters of the falls. It is here, as a guest of Humber Lodge, I will experience my first Atlantic salmon fishing. An experience unlike any other fishing trip I have ever had. Come join us on this incredible journey to an epic land and world-class fishery. New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, the Humber River, a legendary Atlantic salmon river and one of the crown jewels of Newfoundland a very special place that has captured the hearts of fly fishers for decades. For my father and I, this was our first visit to the Humber. We could hardly contain our excitement. We are the guests of Fred and Shirley Thorne, who own the recently renovated Humber Lodge Big Falls. The lodge is conveniently located just a few minutes walk from the Humber River and the famed Big Falls. It's only a short 30-minute drive from Deer Lake International Airport to the Lodge. Even better, the Humber Lodge is also only 30 minutes from the famous Grossmoor National Park. Grossmoor National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for the spectacular beauty of its dramatic landscape. For tourists and anglers alike, this makes coming to Humber Lodge Big Falls even more appealing. After a good night's rest and a relaxing morning of seeing the local sights, my father and I met up with our guide, Dick Hiscock. After a short hike down the trail, we put our gear into park rental boats 
and worked our way up to position below the falls. Everywhere I looked, there seemed to be anglers with fish on. My excitement was growing rapidly. I could hardly wait to cast a fly. But first, I needed some expert advice. Man, oh, nice jump right there. Our experienced guide for the day, Dick Hiscock, has spent many years on the Humber successfully fishing for Atlantic salmon. His jovial nature and excellent instruction are critical for a newbie such as myself. Though I have caught many trout, bass, and pike on a fly, Atlantic salmon are completely new to me. And according to my dad, I am in for quite an education. You swing your rod with your... When we first arrived, Dick gave me some advice on how to swing a wet fly, as he felt the salmon would not yet be taking bombers on the surface. We're going to go from the dry fly, the bomber, to a wet. When we fish this wet, we're going to do, we're going to do it on a 45. Okay. We're going to start with a short line, and we'll make several casts. Then we'll lend a bit more, we'll go through okay. until we get to the end of what you can cast, right? Okay. And hopefully this is going to be the one. Yeah, once you've reached right to the bottom like that where it stopped, and you go again, make probably half a dozen casts at that land, and then you splint out a bit more. Of course, my dad had to catch the first fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Put a bit more, put a bit more line out. There you are, right there. A few minutes later, my dad hooked into another fish. Whoa, yeah. How dare he do this to his daughter? That's a nice fish. It's too wild. Come on, man. All right. Hey, good riffle hitch. <laughs> good job. But soon I was to have my revenge. The salmon were starting to jump. It was definitely the moment for top water action. My first few hours in the boat were very frustrating for a number of reasons. First, there was the wind. It kept hammering my cast, making it collapse on the water. I wasn't getting a good presentation. But with my guide's patient and sage casting advice, I was soon laying the fly out on the water properly. This casting, I mean, she was having, of course she was having problems. Anyone starting off would have problems. So it's kind of a, you know, gives you a little bit of frustration, but she's pretty well in there now. Ah! 
<laughs> I reached up too. <laughs> then, my next problem was missing the fish that took my flies. <laughs> I moved it out of the phone and it came she, up. She moved her fly. Yeah. <laughs> she just, it's, she pulled the fly just the fish came up. There? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just dancing. He's, he's aggravated. They were often so fast, and I was way too slow to set the hook. It was driving me crazy. You know, it was an obvious mistake. You know, they all do it. She's just starting to, just getting into this, you know, Atlantic salmon fishing. I felt a bit of frustration uh, knowing that the fish was coming for her fly, coming up to take, and she's not sitting to hook. Eventually, she got past that, and we were hooking salmon, no problem. So uh, it was awesome to see her do it. Oh, you, are, I, you had him. Uh, I reached up too. <laughs> yeah, fishy, fishy. But then all of a sudden, things started to come together, and I finally started to hook into fish. Yay! Yo, yes. Hello again. Don't lose your fly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was huge. Look. Look at that, beautiful. That's a beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. Sometimes when I hooked into a fish, things didn't exactly go my way. What a girl. <laughs> what a girl. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, uh, keep it on he's around side. the line. He... Lift it up around. Lift it up. Lift, well, it's, under, it's, up. It's, it's underneath the... Yeah. Just let me get up there. Let me get up. Okay. Oh, Lord. I... Can do it? No? Right now, we're going to take him up around. Well, uh... I got now. Luck of the draw. You didn't want them anyhow. The flies that our guide recommended on the Humber are fairly well known among Atlantic salmon anglers. For wet flies, he recommends the Royal Coachman, Thunder and Lightning, and Blue Charm. The dry flies we used are smoky bombers and include brown, tan, purple, and two-tone variants. Hackle colors can often make a big difference in these flies. When we return, the action really heats up on the Humber River. To help someone that's just coming in, you know, to start this sport, like Atlantic salmon fishing, it's a, it's, it's pretty. You, you need to be on top of your game, uh, and it makes me feel like uh, I've accomplished quite a bit to see her go from, you know, a novice to she's quite capable now of going out and catching the salmon for herself, almost anywhere. It makes me feel wonderful. That one is ready. Out, that one is ready out there, and that she can get out there. There, there you are. Watch it. Watch that line right there. 
Holy jumper, jumper. That's jumper. Thankfully, I was starting to have success. But my dad, he kept losing every fish he hooked into. Guess he needed some instruction from our guide. My dry fly presentation was something that Dick emphasized was critical to success. She's a very smart little girl, started to catch on, and I was showing her, you know, to cast and how to min and whatever. Uh, after several casts, she was getting out there, and, you know, during the, the time we were fishing, she was presenting that fly out there, mending that line, and having beautiful drifts through those nice black windows, which is what we wanted. So uh, the only thing we had a little problem first was the, with the presentation was the fly was hitting the water too hard, kind of sinking the fly and what have you. We needed to go in, to float in there like a butterfly, land in a black window and it floats along and then the salmon will come up, take that, and then it stings like a bee, like Muhammad Ali says. Just keep it straight. Don't, don't break yeah, the Yeah, oh, it's trying to go over this way. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll come back. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wah! It's a nice. I've been waiting patiently all Wait. night long. Flogging the water. Just let them go. We want to go back go. this don't, way. Don't break them off. Keep oh, them gosh. Off. Okay, I'll keep, yeah. keep the rod tip up, right? Yeah, just keep the tip up and. Can you can get up, walk up there without no, any interruption. How about, can you get the net? Can you get him from here? Is that oh, okay? A lot easier. I'm gonna try and. I can get him a lot easier if you were. All right, we'll switch up. spots there. Oh, good suggestion. That's a. Uh... Sweet mama. And it's just beautiful. Fish are oh, jumping that's everywhere. A that's a beauty. That one is a beauty. If you tip the rod as high as you can, I'm going to, oh, I Ooh, see I think it. he's up. Oh, Man, that's a no. big fish. <sighs> that's a big, oh. Oh, no. oh OK. Oh, well. Oh. The fight's half the fun. And the fish around here are such great fighters. You're bound to get one. Well, I lost that final salmon, but that's OK. Today has been an incredible experience and one that I will always remember. As I look out across the river watching the sunset, I am glad we have wonderful accommodations and a good meal waiting for us back at the lodge. Humber River Big Falls Lodge is so warm, comfortable, and inviting. Fred and Shirley have truly made it a special destination for anglers and tourists alike. Fred and I have been coming to Sir Richard Squires Park for many years. We acquired the lodge here uh, back in October and it has undergone a complete modern renovation. Our primary goal is to provide um, accommodations, fabulous meals to anglers uh, right here within walking distance of the Humber River. One of our other goals uh, when renovating the, the lodge was to provide accommodations if you're not an angler. Uh, we have a comfortable setting, it's very relaxing. Uh, like I said, the modern renovation. So whether you are an angler or not, you will be more than pleased to stay and spend a day at the lodge reading, walking, there's hiking trails. It is a beautiful place where you can even watch the salmon jump the falls if you don't fish. When we return, we journey upriver for some walk and wade fun. Stay with us.
It is a beautiful July day as we work our way down to the mighty Humber River. Fred, Shirley, and their son Mackenzie have taken my father and I to another part of the river to cast for salmon. This section of the river has many great holding waters and lies. A perfect place for my father and I to end our trip. Luck was on my side, and I was able to hook the first fish of the day. Don't let him go. Too late? Yeah, he flicked out and stopped. Everyone hooked into numerous fish, but unfortunately we lost all of them. I had heard from many about how wonderful a shore lunch is in Newfoundland. Fred was a master chef and put together a wonderful meal for everyone, including a good strong cup of tea. Well, my father and I had a wonderful first experience on the famous Humber River. If you want to learn more about this show or this destination, go to our website, www.thenewflyfisher.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, 